Look at this sexy bastard. Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at him. You just want to take his fucking cheeks and live it. You're so fucking juicy. So uh, today I want to share some uh, deep stuff. I've been doing a lot of growing on my personal journey. And um, you probably don't know this, but about a, probably last year, year and a half, I've been feeling quite shitty. And uh, that's why I was doing less videos and stuff because I was, wouldn't say I was like, you know, suicidal, but I was fucking depressed and unhappy with what I was doing. And the reason for that was because I realized that I was no longer aligned, you know, in my purpose in any way, in my soul with teaching uh, PUA boot camps. Now, this created a big problem for me in congruence because, well, a lot of levels because my reputation, you know, is, you know, great PUA and uh, instructor and that's kind of what I do. I teach PUA boot camps and make videos and whatever. And uh, and so, so suddenly being like, oh, I can't do this anymore. This is just not, like I would just be standing there on the course and like I do this stuff and the guys would be out there talking to girls and I'm listening in and I'm just like, I don't fucking do this anymore. This is just not exciting for me. Like I don't, you know, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm literally, I'm literally doing, and I just became, I went from like being really passionate and just enjoying it and just loving it to just like, what the fuck am I doing? And then, I, and then of course, I just feel like I'm a whore because, and I'm, I'm lying to everybody and I'm lying to myself if I keep doing, uh, doing pickup videos or, or pickup boot camps because I'm not into it anymore. It just doesn't feel like who I am. And so this is, it creates a dichotomy, not only in my ego, it's like, oh, well, I'm this, you know, I'm Sasha Dagan, bro. What, what am I going to do if I'm not going to do this shit? What am I going to do? Everyone, no one's going to love me anymore if I stop doing PUA shit. And then there's the money element, you know, making a shit ton of money. I, th I think I had like the most expensive um, boot camps in the industry at uh, just under 4K each. So the money's pretty good. Now what am I going to do? I'm, I'm not going to any money. I got a lifestyle, bro. I, fall, I eat at nice restaurants and shit. What am I going to do, huh? I'm going to start eating fucking McDonald's because I ain't going to teach this shit anymore. Um, and I went through that and I was just like, fuck, what am I going to do? And it was really shitty. It was really crappy. Like to have your whole, especially when you have a, a, like a following and people like, you know, they like you and you help people and people give you love. You know, I feel like, well, I'm not going to get love from my fans anymore because I'm not, I don't want to do the, the pickup shit. Um, and of course I want to be loved. I love, I'm an attention whore being a comedian. Of course I love the love. You know what I'm saying? I can't pretend that I don't love the love. I love the love, you know? So it was really hard. It was really hard for me to, um, you know, yeah, to, to face that. And so what happened was, um, as I just, I just really kind of went into myself and, th and this is, again, this is, and this is a, such a profound learning for me. And, uh, I think a lot of people go through this. You realize in life that you're just not doing what you like. You're not happy anymore. And you have to change because if you don't change, you fucking suffer. It's like going into hell. It's literally like I felt myself descending into hell, like just going into hell, a hell realm, like, like literally doing some shit for money that you're just not aligned with. It doesn't feel right in my heart. I don't want to be doing it. I feel like a fraud. I feel like I'm lying to the clients. I'm lying to everybody. If I keep pretending that this is, this is who I am when I'm not. So that was happening. And in my brain, I'm like, all right, this, this is, this can't be happening. Like this, this is no good. So fortunately I was, uh, you know, conscious enough to just go, yeah, I don't care. I don't care if I'm, I just made a decision. Like, I don't care if I go broke. I don't care if, uh, you know what I mean? Like whatever, like I've been broke before. So I'm just going to stop teaching the boot camps. Whatever happens, happens, and I'll, I'll find my way, and I'll be fine. I just had to have that faith that everything will work out, even if even if I lose all my fans, and even if I don't have any money, whatever. I'm still me. I still like me. I'm a good person. I have good karma, so I'll be fine. I just had to make that decision of like, you know what? Whatever happens, I'm going to be fine. Uh, and so I did it, and um, you know, I know this is going out to YouTube, so I never uh, officially announced on YouTube that I wasn't going to teach boot camps anymore, but this has already happened months ago. I went out to my email list and I was like, okay, guys, this is it. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, I didn't want to make a big hoo-ha. So I just, just told people if they wanted to do training with me, this was your last chance to do it. Some people did it. I had a, it was good. Actually, I was quite liberating actually knowing like, this is it. I'm going to do my best, but this is, this is, these are the last programs I did them. They were fucking great. They're done. Um, and so I've had some profound changes just in the last few months because I did my last program. It was actually in September. So just a couple of months ago, right? Did it. And I was like, oh my God, okay, fucking awesome. Fucking yes, now what? And I just, you know, I, again, I was just doing my own thing, doing my spiritual practice and reading and just working on myself. And, um, and so just now, just today, as this video is filmed, uh, I spent a, a few hours with a student who was doing a week-long uh, intensive training with Ryan, uh, you know, my lead instructor. And, uh, and I was gonna, you know, spend a bit of time with the guy more just talking and going deep, not, not doing the 
the day game stuff. And so we hung out for three hours and I took him through my spiritual practice, some meditation, some breathing, um, you know, listening to uh, amazing, uh, you know, llamas singing and you know, really, and we had a really deep talk about him and his pain and his purpose and what he's, you know, why he's really here. We determined he's not even here for women. He's actually here to deal with another deeper issue, which uh, we're working on. So I spent three hours with him and he's off now with, uh, you know, doing some uh, approaches and stuff. And, um, and I just had this like moment that I've been getting more clear, but I just had this moment of clarity just now, which I wanted to uh, inspire me to make the video, which was like, I loved hanging out with this guy for three hours. I loved it. It was such a beautiful experience because I, I, he just came over and joined me for what I'm doing in my life anyway, which was doing this spiritual practice, you know, all the, the stuff I do anyway, a bit of exercise, all the stuff that I'm doing, but I was sharing with him the wisdom, what I've learned. Uh, and we just had a really, really good connection. And, and he just got so much out of it where it's just like, he, he literally just had a moment where he's like, oh, okay, I understand. I understand why I'm here. Okay, it's not actually because I want to bang a bunch of girls. There's another reason, much deeper reason. So, and I just realized like, I love doing that. I love coaching and helping uh, guys, women too, frankly, but just people. I love doing that. It's the, it's the pickup that no longer resonated with who I am. My life's purpose is to help people realize the ultimate truth that we're all one, we're all love, and, uh, and that we, we're all just here on a journey to help each other develop and grow, and then we go back to source, and then we, if we need to, we just keep doing it. That is the ultimate truth, and also waking people up to the, the matrix that we're in. That, that's all my purpose. And I can do all that with this, with, with, you know, with, 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 with the coaching. It was that what's not in line with me anymore was the Sasha Day game character that's going around hitting on girls, flirting all the time, just trying to have sex with girls. That's another, that's in the, that's done. That's like, I've shifted to a new reality. That, that guy, I can look at that now and be like, oh, that was really fun, interesting. I learned a lot from that. That exists still, but that's not where I am at at all. That's, you know what I'm saying? So, so it just got some, so again, again, so because I took that decision, I was like, all right, I'm just going to move away uh, from that. And I gave myself the space Then I it didn't take long from stopping the last program, just a couple of months for me to go, Actually, no, I love fucking coaching. I still want to do live training programs. I still want to help guys out and, and do all this stuff. But I'm just not going to do the part that I'm not aligned with in my purpose. I'm, and it's it just, you know, I don't feel like teaching a uh, pickup. Even the social freedom aspect is still in line with it. And I still enjoy it because you're snapping people out of the reality of like, oh, well, people think you shouldn't do this and this is weird. I love snapping people out of that. So I, I still have fun taking guys out and making them do silly ass shit. That's great. I'm still just going to have other people do it. But I still enjoy that. But the, 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 all right, we're going to go talk to girls now. And then, no, that's not, that's not for me anymore. And so I've had this moment of clarity, like, oh, awesome. So I could just, uh, I can still run intense programs and uh, I'll just do this, this spiritual stuff and the deeper stuff and entrepreneurial stuff, which I'm really passionate about, uh, health stuff, which I'm passionate about. But when it comes to like, all right, guys, uh, time to go out there and flirt with girls. Well, I can have Ryan do that or, or Mike or, or uh, some of the other, you know, instructors and training that we have that are, that are uh, awesome too. They can do that stuff. They're happy to do that. They want that. They're in their phase of like, yeah, let's go out and meet chicks. So it's great. So it's, it's so beautiful. I can do what I want to do and they can do that and everybody wins. It's, it's, it's fucking awesome. And all it took was two months, two months of just like, all right, September, October, November. yeah, basically two months, two and a half of me just going, right, I'm not going to do that anymore because it doesn't feel right for me. I don't care what the consequences. I trust in the universe. I trust in myself to figure it out. And I'm just, I'm just going to take a break here and just not, and just be on my own. And it took me just literally a couple of months to just go, oh, actually, no, it was just that I'm good. Everything's cool. I'm going to continue coaching and continue doing and, and building Infinite Man and doing all the stuff that I'm passionate about. I'm just not going to teach the weekend PUA boot camps or that segment of the, the longer programs. Very simple. And so I'm so ex I'm super excited. And now like, I'm not worried about anything. I'm just like, fuck yeah, all, life is awesome. I, I love I love coaching. And I love, you know, amazing. The, um, the moral of the story is you have to give yourself that space to find your purpose, to get aligned with your purpose. You have to take the freaking time off, do what you got to do, find a way. You have to give yourself that space. It's very difficult to figure it out. If you're, if you're, if you're, again, if you're unhappy and you're suffering, your frequency is lower. You're having negative thoughts, uh, scarcity based thoughts. Oh, I don't have enough money. Uh, I'm not happy enough. I'm never going to get what I want, blah, blah, blah. So when you're at this shitty frequency, it's very difficult to figure Oh, this is my purpose. I'm going to do this. Fuck no. So you need to escape that situation and have some time to for for it to sort of like filter through where you can just go oh oh okay this is what's calling me this is why the biggest piece of uh, advice I, I always when people ask me you know i get this question all the time oh i'm a student should i go work or should I take some time off take some fucking time off because you have to um, you need to get into nature and away from your life your environment so that you can just be and be at peace 
and just get away from all the BS. So then it comes in and it just literally through the ether just comes in like, oh, I want to I want to be a health guy or hey, I want to be an athlete or hey, uh, I want to be a poker player or hey, you know, whatever. It just it will come through. Or, I want to help people. Uh, I want to work with animals or whatever. It will come through. It's there. What your purpose, what you what you are, it's there waiting for you. You're here. You're, it, you just have to get away from all the shit and negativity and programming in order to get aligned with who you are and what, what, what you want to be doing here. It's not that hard, but you need to give yourself that space, right? And for me, that space was literally just making a decision like, right, I'm going to stop doing this, have a bit of time on, on, on my own, have a bit of a, of a break, and just very quickly I just got, whoop, boom, aligned with my purpose, you know? And it was, it was just a small misalignment. It was just like this one thing that I didn't want to be doing, and I was confused. Oh, maybe I don't want to work with guys anymore. Maybe I want to do something else completely. No, it was just one fucking thing. But I had to give myself that space and get away from it to just realize, oh, that's what it was. This is what I want to do. Okay, awesome. So I would invite all of you guys, give yourself that space, man. You deserve it. You deserve it. Remember that. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy and peace in your life. You deserve it. Give yourself that space to find, um, to find what you want to do with your life and to find out who you are. It's there. It's waiting for you. Your purpose is waiting for you. But you have to allow it to, to come into your life. Okay. So... Thank you so much for joining. I hope that was illuminating. And uh, make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to uh, miss the good stuff. Here's how it works. You click the subscribe button. A little bell pops up, and then it goes, you sure you want to fucking get notifications from this weirdo? You say yes, and then we'll be friends forever. Okay, see you later.